All right. So, um, hello, everyone. Um, good evening, good afternoon, good morning, wherever you're joining in from. Uh, this is the Chaos Community Call. And um, I guess um, members from Brussels, they are back. <laughs> and it's so good to have everyone here. Um, the meeting notes is in the chat. So just put in your name and let us know how you're feeling today. Okay, awesome. Thank you, Georg. So um, we're just going to go right into today's agenda. So I think first thing on the agenda here is just giving a shout out to every chaotic that made it to Brussels for the chaos con. You are amazing. And I also noticed that there was a shared note. Um, so I put the link in here in case anyone wants to take a look and see conversations that probably happened um, during the conference, right? Then, um, Chaos accessibility update. Um, I'm just going to hand this over to Yida. Can, can I ask a few questions just on the ChaosCon stuff? Yeah, sure, absolutely, Matt. Yeah, so the document that you shared, is that, Georg, is this the main document? Do you know if this was the single document that we had kind of for the entire thing? This is a document that Angie Byron created and everyone chimed in and helped. So it's not one that we as the organizers created. Okay, uh, we have one that the organizers created because I would be happy to kind of go through like this document, you know what I mean? Plus my own notes, plus just kind of all this stuff and try to organize yeah. that. I would suggest to work off of Angie's notes um, after she left, um, we continued or I, I helped, uh, there were others as well. And all the notes that Don had created for the breakout sessions are linked in here. So if you follow this document, it has all the relevant links and sub documents. Okay. I will, because last, I don't remember, but remember I made a blog post, I think you helped me with it, where yeah. I tried to like say, here were the seven or six key themes that we talked about at ChaosCon, why don't I plan on doing the same thing? That would be fantastic. Okay, because this looks kind of long, 12 pages. Anyway, I, I can do that. Thank you. Yep. And then... Let's see. Um, wow. And then um, I, I am curious how I didn't really get a debrief on how the Grimoire Lab session went in the afternoon. I'd love to hear how that went. I'm guessing you, Gay sure, or I, got, I, yeah, got I was there, that. but Santi, yeah. Santi, you yeah, can talk about that. Go ahead, Santi. Oh, ah, sorry. I, I hope I thought we were going to talk about all the things first, but no. So, so what what we did was, uh, well, we have a, a, say a a nice conversation with some some people, no, that are interested on the project some new faces that I haven't seen before. And what what basically what we do is to talk about the current status of the of the project, Primor Lab. And we describe uh, well the the current contest and the problems that we are facing and the uh, the ideas that we have to 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 solve those those problems and and the new features that we are going to have. So we introduced the, a new document that we have, that is the, the, the roadmap, you know, where we describe the vision that we have for the project, all the current uh, problems that we are having, and also so what our goals for, for, the, next, uh, for the next year. No? And so you, 
feel free to go to the main repository of Greenwater Lab. You can go there and there's the, the roadmap dot md file. I'll paste I'll paste the link here if you in case that you want to add it to the to the to the yeah, I'll go find document. It. And yeah, and yeah. so all all what we discuss is was is sum, is summarized there. So that's what we talk in during the during the workshop. Is it this one, Santi? I just put it in the chat. Yeah, is is that one? Okay, great. Mm -hmm. Oh, okay. Yeah, we're good. Um, and then that's great. Thanks, Santi. And then, are there on this roadmap? Are there things that you think like uh, Elizabeth should be helping with, just from a community perspective? Or... Oh, so the. We still need to add more things there because it's it's more about the description of the vision that we have. And well, you can Elizabeth, of course, can share that everywhere she, she wants. No, if she wants to talk about the project or, or whatever, she can she can use probably the the what we have there, no, the, the same text even if it's possible or whatever. But uh, we need to complete it with a the way that we are going to work. So we are going to categorize uh, everything, all the tasks that we are going to do into themes. So the, the tasks are going to be like thematically, for example, I don't know, it's, it's like to add, add tags to, to, to the tasks. For example, to work on the user interface, no? So there will be a theme that is the user interface. So with that in mind, the idea is that all the tasks that we do need to have a theme. If they don't have a theme, that means that it's not useful for the project or is or we haven't considered it. It's something that we are going to do now. Maybe in the future, that's fine, but this is what we are going to be focused on. And the next thing that I we, we need to complete, I, I hope I can do it uh, during this during this week. Uh, it'll be the we are gonna use a a board, no, this a Kanban board mm -hmm. uh, to add the tasks there, to us to to set the timelines of all the new features and well, so people can go there and see the 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 real work, no, so what we are doing and and so on. For this thing, I, I was thinking to I I don't have. So I I still don't know what to use because well my idea is to use the the GitHub projects, but I don't know if I should do it at the level of chaos or at the level of uh, the Grimor Lab repository because gotcha. if I do it the, the the good thing about doing it at the level of uh, chaos is that I can see. The, the tasks and issues across the all the repositories that we have in Grimoire Lab. Yep. But if I do it in the in the in on, in the Grimoire Lab one, I can only see the issues that are open in the Grimoire Lab repository and not in Perceval or in Sorting Hat or yep. the other. The, so that's bad, but it's less noisy for other people in Chaos. So and also if I need to add tags. I don't know how it, it'll work. So well, I I'll I'll probably ask you in the next meeting or and or yeah, whatever, I whatever you tell me that that's the best place and, and so there so it sounds like you can you can create a, a board at the org level? Yes. GitHub. Okay. Yeah, I think I think there are some people that I saw the other day that there are some boards that people are using there in chaos. So okay. And you can so, create like multiple boards, I'm guessing. Like you could create. Yes, a... yeah, that's, okay. yeah. It's, so the idea is that, I don't know, I was working with that. I don't know, it's, I don't remember because I was doing something like yeah. two months ago, three months ago, but you can configure it to say, I want to see all the issues or all the pull yeah. requests or whatever that re are related to this set of repositories. These, okay, and they would just be the- And not right? others. Yeah. Yep, so, that makes sense. Um, why don't we, I would recommend Santi that you reach out to Elizabeth 
not okay. like a decision, but just to help in setting something like this up. Okay. That might, that might help you a lot. Okay. Yeah, I'll I'll do that. What she I think she's she's still in in Brussels. She, she, she told me or she's going to London or me or I don't know. Yeah, she, she comes back Sunday. Oh, okay. But I, so I'll still send her a note in Slack and just kind of tell her what you're thinking. Okay. And I know she'd like to be part of that conversation just to help. Oh. You know? Okay. Perfect. Yeah, I'll do that. Thank you. Okay, cool. Oh, I see. Okay, so somebody put a bunch of the boards. Oh, Georg did. Somebody, meaning Georg, put a, a link to the boards. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay. Um, okay. Will that be on that? That's great. Thank you, Santi. Okay. okay. Done. Thank you. <laughs> uh, <laughs> all right. Thank you so much, Matt, for that question. And thank you, Santi and um, Georg, for the contributions. Um, so I guess we're just going to move on to the next agenda item. Um, I was hoping that you guys could maybe give um, updates on the accessibility team. Um, but um, I could see Busayo is here with the project manager. Um, Busayo, would you like to just give a general update on that here on the call? Um, okay, hi everyone. Oh, I think he got dropped off. Okay. Um, so our last discussion, we had a meeting, was it last week? Last week, Friday, yes where we just went over like requirements for making this accessibility successful. So I think Higa has like created issue templates. Um, I don't know, can you add maybe the link to the repo? Well, let me see if I can mm. find it. I... Yeah, you could I get can... it. Then. All right, yeah, so sure. we already have issue templates. Um, so what's left is for us to now come up with these issues and probably train more people that could also assist with um, this testing or checking for these accessibility checks because it's not everybody that can do it. And as of now, we only have um, Yiga and Victoria as the testers. So we are also trying to ensure that anybody that visits the websites can just come to the GitHub repo and if they have an idea of what we think could be better in regards to accessibility, they just open that issue. Um, I'm sure you guys would... Yes, you guys here now. You guys. Thank you. Okay. Thank you, I'm so sorry my notes have kicked me out. Hi, everyone. Um, Hi, there. I already do not know what the Saya shared, but um, um, she talked about the meeting we had last um, last Friday, and also um, what we went over, you know, requirements on how to like mm -hmm. contribute to the accessibility, then also the issue templates, um, the one for the DI testing, web iOS, and you know, the one for the chaos testing as well. Um, mm -hmm. Yeah. Thank you so much. I'm so sorry. Um, so yes, um, all of that has been done. And thankfully, um, stuff has been updated. I think where we're at right now is really just um, creating more issues for everybody to contribute to. Everybody that is um, that knows how to run accessibility checks, of course. Um, the one thing that um, has been done also is to add um, so for example courses that people can take um, to understand more about accessibility and be able to conduct this check um, that is also in the weekly um, another thing that I'm going to be adding within this week is stuff like blogs and you know just stuff that would help people know what to do and you know the best practices and all of that stuff um, the next thing would be, um, after creating the issues, um, 
of course, we need people that can do checks on each and every one of the things. I think one of the things that we also decided last meeting was to focus on one instead of, you know, just sharing ourselves between the different um, websites and iOS and Android testings that we have to do. So for example, I don't know who's sharing, but uh, can we please go to like the reading? Okay. I don't know. Is it possible? Maybe that's not the one. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, the read me for uh, um, the accessibility. Yeah. So okay, okay. Um, never mind. So never mind. I'll just say. I'll just say right off the top of my head. So the one thing that we have in the in the spreadsheet is this one. that yes, but I don't even think the spreadsheet is there. But it's fine because we didn't want to make that right. Okay. Okay. Um, so the one thing that we have okay. right now on the spreadsheet is if you look at the form, like the issue form that's been created, we're conducting tests on chaos websites, chaos on the chaos view when you view it on an Android phone and chaos um, when you view it on an iOS, you know, version. So we're also doing that for the DEI website, the new DEI website that just came out. So instead of us for example just randomly creating issues on each and every part that needs to be tested the one thing that we're trying to do is oh if we're working on chaos website right now that's what you know the issues are going to be created on so yeah i think that's where we are and the other thing is um there's some testing that has already been done and that can also be passed on to the next phase. So um, I guess that will be done. It will be put out in form of issues before the end of the week, actually, so that people can contribute to it by um, changing what needs to be changed and making it more accessible. So yes, there's stuff that needs to be done already. So it's just, it just needs to be put out there. I think that's like, the update that we have right now for myself and Victoria, by the way, and the rest of the team. Thank you, everyone. Can I ask you a question, Yiga? Yes, please. Yeah, so as you're um, going through the testing of, say, the website on a browser and on phones, and you identify things that need to be improved, is there, mm -hmm. is there a process by which um, those improvements can be made, is, or is your work is your work about identifying the issues that need to be resolved, and then somebody else needs to work on those improvements? You see what I'm saying? Like you'll identify things, and how do we fix them? Like, yes. Okay. So if you try to fill in um, the the form, just like as a demo right now, if you try to fill in any of the issue template forms that are there you would see that, you know, at the bottom, it says um, who needs to, what's the next, who is the best person to work on this, right? So okay. at that point, it moves, right? And then the other thing, I think the chaos community is added to the sheet, but I'll just try to pop it in. Um, I'll pop it in later, right, on this document so that everybody mm -hmm. can see. I'll add the spreadsheet right there. Um, so the other thing that is there is that for each check that is being conducted, um, there's we can tell what we, we're, we're advising to say, um, for example, um, this button has this problem. Can it be fixed? Can the color be made better? So it's explicitly stated there that this is what we would recommend for the team to work on. So okay. then if it's a designer's job, the designer knows exactly what to do. If it's a content, you know, thing, the content creator or content management team knows what to do about that. But okay. I'll put in the spreadsheet real quick. Okay, I might, I might make a recommendation that as your your as the work that you're doing with everybody around accessibility, as you're identifying issues, we may want to mm -hmm. maybe identify you know, say half a dozen, excuse me, half a dozen issues initially to share with the community to be fixed and just kind of see how that process goes in terms of fixing them. My, I guess I would be concerned if we created, say, you know, 
50 issues that needed to be addressed and we mm -hmm. dropped those in, that might be a bit overwhelming for people sometimes. And so if we could do a smaller subset and just kind of see how that process works, that might be a good way to start. Yes, I totally agree with that. Okay, cool. <laughs> yes. Thank you. Okay, so the spreadsheet is right there. I guess I don't know who added it, but thank you so much. Um, so the spreadsheet is right there and we can, you know, take a look at it and see how it, it goes from here to time. Thank you, Mark. Yeah, thank you for all your work on this, everybody. Yeah. Um, thank you so much, Higa, for that beautiful update. Um, yeah, the work Higa, Victoria, and the rest of the team are doing are like a huge work, and um, we really encourage um, anyone who has idea about accessibility testing to please, you know, join in the movement, <laughs> and um, so um, we can, you know, get this running and going. All right. Um, I think the last thing, Giga, I think, I don't know if you uh, mentioned, but uh, we initially had a small group, um, Slack DM on Slack. However, we are moving conversations around the uh, accessibility testing to the um, Chaos DEI working group on Slack. Uh, that's correct, Giga, right? Yes, very blessed. Thank you for having that. Thank you. Yes. Yeah, so um, if you are interested in accessibility, the DI Slack channel is like the, the place to have conversations around around that. All right, cool. Um, Matt, um, you put this here. Um, you want to talk about the Chaos Con in Seattle? Yeah, sorry, I probably should have put it up. The other Chaos Con, I just wanted to keep people posted. Um, okay. Just particularly for those who, who may plan on attending. So right now we do have a half a day room um, uh, reserved at ChaosCon Seattle. Um, and then I think Sean is trying to get another half a day room for a mini summit. I think it's around Augur. It may be around software, but I need to get a little bit more clarity on that. Um, I see Georg left. Santi, do you know if anybody from Grimoire Lab has an intention of going to Seattle and wanting to participate in that as well? Well, I would like to go, but the, the, I don't know if we have budget to to, yeah. to go there because, well, I, I know that, or I'm sure uh, Georg is going to go there. Okay. But I don't know if any other member for, from Viterja is going to go there, so... Okay, I'll, I can connect with Georg. I know that it's going to be a lot more informal than what we did. Mm -hmm. in so just because it's shorter and it's with the Linux Foundation, you know what I mean? Like we just get a little bit. Yeah, like I the know. Rooms are smaller. The rooms are maybe not smaller. Yeah, yeah, I, I know. The timing is a little bit shorter. So I guess I'll just put it out there. If if anybody from Grimoire Lab would like to participate in yeah. those things. Don't hesitate to let us know it and how you'd like to be included. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, of course. Okay. So um, and I think that's it. Yeah, that was that was mostly it. That we're just starting to get rooms for Seattle in April. All right. Cool. Thank you, Matt. Um okay. So the calendar invites to chaos meeting. Um Georg was was this you here? I don't know. Is Georg back? He's not there. Was it with the calendar invites? Is that it? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um. So uh, we could. Why don't we wait till he comes back if he put that there? But yeah, we can. We can add people to the calendar invites. Okay. Okay. Cool. So um, you do that or Elizabeth? I don't know. <laughs> Probably Elizabeth. I mean, I think I have, I have access to the chaos calendar. You know what I mean as admin. Yeah. I usually mm -hmm. leave that up to Elizabeth to do that. Uh, so there's not okay. too many people involved. In, yeah. And if you, I guess the question would be, why, and I'll ask Georg, but why would we want to add people to the to the particular invites? Mm. Um, okay, I think I might remember why I put this here. So um, during the 
the app ecosystem um, meeting, we had someone who, um, a member of that working group that um, ideally would love to participate in the meeting, but um, couldn't the last time because um, she didn't she didn't receive the the um, the reminder. So um, so yeah, um, people were suggesting if you know maybe adding folks to the calendar invites would be like a a better way for people to get these um, reminders and joining meetings um, if, if they want. I gotcha. So, I just, um, my problem with that, so like it, it and we can, it just mm. doesn't, I don't know, when you click on like the chaos calendar and you see the invite, you can see who's invited and who's not oh. invited, correct? Yeah, I, I don't know, but if that's the case, then it, it might be an issue. Yeah, it looks know. a little funny to me because, like, if I click on this mm. calendar, if like if I I in Google I use Google Calendar, and if I add the Chaos Calendar to my to my Google Calendar, then so like here, let me let me share my screen. I'll show you. Mm, sure. Let me stop staring for a second. Yeah, sure. I can stop sharing. Please give me a minute. Maybe. Uh, <laughs> uh, um, let's share. Yeah, sure. Does that work? Uh, you're still sharing your screen. Oh, no. Oh, there you go. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Cool. Like if I just pull up the chaos calendar, you see that? Okay. Yes. But like if I click on that, I can see these other people here. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And you know what? Um, folks can actually. I mean, anyone can actually copy these email addresses, and you know, um, I don't know. So Georg, I think but we're addressing your app ecosystem calendar invite thing. Was that you? Mm -hmm. Yep, I had put that on here and Mary Blessing had the context correct why I put it on here. So the question is how do we do this right now? If you don't want to do it over the central chaos calendar, I can create a private invite just for the, for the people that I know are interested. Because I, I would prefer to not to do this like see how like there's a couple i think these are students in missouri i'm guessing you see do you see this on the when you click on the yeah in, or is it just me um can i also suggest um another way to like um would i say i avoid this is that when creating the invite you can click on more options to like hide um seeing the oh. uh, how do I yeah, yeah 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 see who is invited yeah Georg is correct so um I think it's like from whoever you know gets to like create the invite have to like you know change that settings so well if we can do that then I'm then I'm okay with it because if if we can hide who's coming mm -hmm. and not coming. <laughs> like as is individually invited, then it, I think it's all good. So, yeah. Okay. Let me. I'll check on that. Okay. Awesome. So um, I think we're good. Yeah. The benefit. So if we can explore that, that would be great. If we have, uh, if we cancel a meeting, and then there's only one single point of truth we avoid a lot of mm. miscommunication i agree because if you end up creating private invites and then you miss it and then or you fail to take it off or whatever like yeah. okay let me see if i can't do that i i bet i can mm. okay that's good All right. Okay. So, um, the DI. Okay. I think the accessibility update should have also been under the DI <laughs> working group update. Right. I, I totally missed that. All right. 
So, um, yeah, so this is just a reminder to everyone. Um, so we started this um, um, not long ago where um, folks can find in their contributions, um, especially no code contributions on GitHub, right? So um, here is me encouraging you to find in your contributions um, when you do like, um, you know, give your time and um, efforts to the chaos projects. Yeah, this is the link so to, to do that. Um, yeah, and also the onboarding course, um, Peculiar is, I'm not sure Peculiar is on the call, um, but the, the last meeting we had, um, she said um, everything is good. However, um, the PMs, the project managers on that, um, on this particular project are still hoping for um, volunteers, those who signify that they would help with videos or scripts to um, send in their PRs for those, um, for those issues. So um, yeah, this is just a reminder to everyone who had initially signified um, interest in um, creating a video or writing a script for the onboarding course. So please um, send in your PRs. So I don't know if we have any other business for the day and we can discuss that. Um, Matt? Yeah. I'm good. Yiga had her hand up for a second. Okay, yes. You have a comment, Yiga? Oh yeah, sure, sure, awesome. Oh, Sorry, I didn't yeah. see that. Yiga, please. Oh yes, fine. I just that for the onboarding process, the one thing that, you know, is left is for people to indicate their times. Um, Elizabeth is going to be creating like time blocks on the chaos calendar so that people can use the Zoom channel to record their courses. So I just wanted to add that. So if um, people, um, you know, have the time to do that and are still very much interested, there will be times created where people can come into um, our Zoom and record their courses. Thank you. Cool. Okay, sorry, I, just... I, didn't, I, didn't quite, I don't know, I didn't quite get the updates. Is it a time slot on the calendar, uh, the chaos calendar, either? Yes, so even when we're eventually not using our Zoom so that it can be recorded and so that the idea of it is so oh. that people are not using different mm. platforms and then it can be recorded in real time and they're not trying to figure out a lot of things. So, and then also so that um, nobody is interrupting the meeting time. So Elizabeth is the one that is actually going to plot that out, but hey, we had chaos fun. <laughs> Oh, yeah. <laughs> okay, okay, yeah. okay. Um, all right. So, um, okay, Org, I can give you an update on ChaosCon real fast if that's I'm moving. So, um, I guess one thing one I did notice in the calendar invite when you create a calendar invite, you can choose to show the guest list or not show the guest list. So, I'm guessing if we just recreate some of these events with unchecking that, because I don't think you can do it after the fact. It looks like you have to do it with the event. So it's a little bit of time, but we can solve that. And I would prefer that anyway. Uh, yeah. And then it would be good to have a process where to request being added. Yes. Like a person is added. OK, oh, fair enough. That's all. Those are good points. Um, and then on ChaosCon, did you have a question or something like that? Yes, I heard that there is um, there are issues being created to manage the organizing of ChaosCon. It, it looked like it was a project board. <laughs> that link when I was looking at the project boards. Oh, is it that where it is? Yeah, I, I didn't even know we had project boards. <laughs> well, well, oh, using yeah. them. <laughs> so, uh, Georg, I, I saw some tickets that don't create it to yeah. manage. Uh, so, I've seen some activity. Okay. 
Yeah, oh, Don had asked me if I can help with parts of it. That's why I was looking for the location. I can tell you. Let's, let me see. Uh, it's in the chaos community, I think. What? No? Huh? Yeah, yeah, it was. It was at that top yeah. level. Chaos, com chaos is last community is the, the repo. Yeah, okay. And I see the board is a private board, so you need to be logged into GitHub. That's why I didn't see it before I wasn't logged okay. in. Gotcha. Do you see it now? Yep. Okay. So that is... Are you help, what are you helping with? Just things? Uh, Don had asked if I could take the lead on putting together a schedule. Okay. What are your thoughts? Uh, I, I'm not quite sure what we want to do yet. <laughs> the, since we want to have it more open. And yeah. I personally like the lightning talks as a format. I want to have that. And I, I know we are going, we have not done any CFP. I do like the idea of having a CFP okay. because it's more inviting um, contributions. I, I feel it's more inviting. In Brussels, there was no way for someone who said, who wanted to contribute to contribute yeah. um, to the schedule. So I'm, I'm thinking about doing a CFP, even though I know it adds more work. Um, or it could be pretty lightweight. Yeah. And then I, since we only have half a day, depending on the topics that we get or decide on, we can do one session that is very interactive. Okay. I, Whether, I have thoughts on an interactive session that I can share with you. It's a, okay. Just a, it's mostly about it's more of a process, but it's asking people about how they would think about certain metrics going together. So it's it's almost like a process of building um, metric models, just in the sense of how you might or how people might organize metrics in relation to one another. So because we've always kind of just been doing it ourselves in the metric model meetings. Yeah. Um, but just kind of asking people to walk through it. It's a little more detailed than I'm explaining here, but something along those lines. I like that idea. Uh, would be a nice outcome from that. Uh, I'll call it workshop. Okay. Well, let me, I'll at least just send you kind of some rough details on how it works, the, the workshop kind of organization, and you can go from there. Okay. I'll track it down. I have it somewhere. Okay, I'm going to have to run. So I have a thing I have to get to at noon. Yeah. All right. Thank you. Thanks, Georg. Thanks, Mary Blessing, for the meeting. But I got to go. Yeah. Yeah, sure. I also think that um, the on body course was the last um, agenda item on the on the meeting notes. So I think we can have everybody go back to their day if we don't have any other things to discuss. All right. Okay. Thank you very much, everyone. Have a great day. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Thanks, Thanks everyone. everyone. Bye. Do bye. All right. See you. Bye everyone.